you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Hello, hello, happy Friday. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to today's video back in the truck for another car chat. I seem to be um, most productive in the few moments that I have in the truck by myself. Don't know if any other parents can relate, but when I get to the gym, I actually, I'm putting my shoes on at the same time too, but I actually get some work done, film videos, edit, upload, respond to emails. I do as many things as I can in the few minutes before and after I go to the gym because that's when I actually have ability to think. Um, anyway, I wanted to do today's video, um, just a chat. I feel like these, I'm gonna have more of these coming up. So if you do enjoy these little car chats, um, let me know in the comments, make sure to hit that thumbs up, all that good stuff, it helps out the channel. But I just, I wanted to be more open about my journey as a mom, uh, my fitness journey, again, life in general. And these chats just seem to be cathartic for me. And anytime I put them up, I usually get a decent amount of positive feedback because they seem to help other people too. No rhyme or reason, I don't have it planned what I'm gonna say, but I know that I wanted to talk about just the channel and sorry, just how I've been feeling for the last couple of years. We have been, first of all, we've been inconsistent on the channel. I'm sure you've noticed. I keep saying I'm gonna do two videos a week and then I get one video up. Some weeks I've gotten zero. And a lot of that of course is because we're, we're busy. Like we thought we were busy before we had kids I didn't know busy. Sometimes Matt and I will sit down at night after Eva goes to bed and we're like, man, what did we do with our time before we had Eva? I remember days that we would be in the RV like on the weekends and, and after Matt got home from work and we would just lay in bed and watch Netflix midday. And I'm like, man, of course we wouldn't, tra we wouldn't trade it like being parents for anything. But I'm like, man, that would be nice to be able to just have no plans, no responsibilities, essentially. Um, it's just funny how things change. But we've been so busy, to say the least, and picking up the camera has just not been on my mind because I've also really, really been trying to be more present when we're all together. So, you know, whether we're at home during like a weekday or on the weekends, we've been visiting family and I've just been trying to be more present with my family um, because I tend to be on this thing a lot. Most of the time it's for work, social media stuff, YouTube, um, emails, clients, but I always, I always have this in my hand. And so I've been trying to be more present and the moments that I have been like, man, I, I wanna film this just, you know, for my memories, for YouTube, whatever. I'm like, you know what, I'll do it later. Um, so that's kind of how I've been in terms of filming. But I miss, I miss this, I miss the channel. I mean, this, this channel has been a major part of my life, my career. Um, and, and you guys that have been along the channel for so many years have seen all of these phases of life and it's really cool to me, but I miss, I miss putting out videos on a regular basis because I enjoy them. I enjoy filming. I enjoy editing. I enjoy conversing with everybody in the comments. We've just, I've just felt kind of in an awkward place because I'm, I'm trying to be so many things at once. And lately I've also come to the realization that I've gotten away from fitness content on YouTube because I was struggling so badly after having Eva. If you've been around before we had Eva, I mean, I was uploading fitness related videos, nutrition, uh, full day of eating, workouts, like health updates, all of that. I was doing those regularly, like at least once a week. 
And I got away from that because I felt like an imposter. I'll be completely honest. I didn't look the part and I didn't want to put myself out there in the YouTube realm, you know, saying like, this is a workout that you can do at home. Um, this is what my diet looks like. This is how my progress is going. And I, I put them out here and there, but I didn't put a whole lot out because I felt like I was, I was not confident in my abilities in myself. And like I said, I feel kind of, I felt kind of a bit of an imposter syndrome, even though the knowledge that I had on fitness, the seven years of coaching and programming for others, the certifications that I've had, the, the physical transformation, the mental transformation that I had made before, um, all of that was still there, but I just, doubted myself so much that I didn't want to put myself out there. And I also feared that if I posted content talking about nutrition and workouts and somebody from the outside would come and look at me, I was afraid that they would be like, why is she talking about this? She doesn't know what she's talking about. Look at her. And I hate that I felt that way, but I realize it now because I mean, just kind of from the outside looking in hindsight is 2020. And I realized that that's why I was not uploading fitness content. And fitness, mental and physical health is one of the most important aspects of my life. I'm gonna be back to talking about workouts, showing workouts, talking about nutrition, showing what I'm eating, um, because it's such a major part of my life. And it should be a major part of anybody's life. It's of course crucial to your longevity and your physical and mental health. And I just regret not talking about it more because I think that what I was going through at the time could have helped somebody that was in a similar situation or is in a similar, similar situation now. Um, so I'll probably be talking a bit more about my mental health journey, um, you know, my postpartum journey, all of those things uh, to come. And it might just be a video like this where I just sit down let my thoughts out, share them with you guys, um, and you kind of take it for what you will. And so if that is something that you're interested in, let me know below. Fitness content will be back because I also feel like myself. It's been two years in the making, more than two years in the making, but I finally feel, I mean, I feel mentally and physically healthier now than I ever have by far. And I think a lot of it is because I've come so far since struggling after having Eva. And I'm more appreciative of my internal and external health now than I ever have been. And it's also helped me to focus more on that now than I ever have because I know how much it affects my life. It affects, you know, my relationship with my husband. It affects my relationship with my daughter, my family. Um, so I'll be, you know, sharing more of that. If y'all have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Yeah, I think that another thing that I have struggled with in terms of the channel is trying to fit into a box that shouldn't exist. You know, when we were doing the RV life, we kind of we kind of worked ourselves into into a niche. Um, you know, we, we delved into the RV life and minimalism and traveling and we kind of worked ourselves into that corner. It was our life at the time. So of course, but I've also felt a bit lost with the channel since we moved out of the RV because I'm like, okay, well people don't care now that we're not in the RV. And some might not, and that's okay. I mean, that's the beauty of YouTube. There are literally videos about everything. If you have any interest whatsoever, there is a channel out there that focuses on it. And some people, I mean, quite a few people have left since we moved out of the RV, and that's okay because that's, they're interested in RV life and minimalism and things like that. And it's not our life anymore. And I felt like, not necessarily a failure, but I felt like, um, I guess I felt like people don't just aren't interested anymore because we're not in the RV. But then we had moving into parenthood. We had building a house. Now we've got living in a house, but that's not done. <laughs> like, there's so many different aspects to our life. Of course, marriage and everything that we do outside of the house 
fitness and nutrition and we still travel, we still do things outside of the home. So I don't know, it's just this mental block that I have created for myself. It's all my doing, but it is up to me to undo it. And so this is me putting it out there and sharing with you guys, like this is just kind of what I've been dealing with, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm over it. Like I'm over it. I'm over worrying about, okay, should I put this up on the channel? Like nobody's gonna watch a full day of eating. If nobody watches it, nobody watches it. It's not a big deal. Like that's that's the main thing. And and if you're somebody that's wanted to, wanted to start a YouTube channel, it's not a big deal. And that's I've been building it up in my head so much so that I'm paralyzed by those doubts that I just don't do anything. When YouTube itself just filming and editing these videos is a passion of mine. And whether anybody watches them or not, like not a big deal. I watch them. I know that some of our family watches them. Some of our friends watch them. And to me, like, that, that's awesome. I'm just not, I'm, I'm done. I'm done caring so much um, about what type of content and the algorithms changing and not fitting into a certain like niche and I'm done. I'm just gonna upload what I want and have fun with it again. I really enjoyed doing the reaction video to our um, previous, uh, I think it was the our first trip in the RV. Matt and I really enjoyed watching that back and just kind of talking with you about it. And there were many of y'all that had been here for that time and y'all said it was fun to relive those memories. We're gonna be doing more of those reaction type videos. Fitness content, like I wanna update everybody on my workouts and how freaking good I feel and how great my workouts are. And I wanna encourage other people to do the same and better themselves and focus on their mental health and talk about nutrition and talk about our life and struggles as parents. There's just so much to my life that I want to share because I know that it, it can encourage and help others and, and just help others feel like they're not alone. Because there's a lot of times that I'll talk about something and I'm like, man, it's just nice to know I'm not alone. And I, cause I feel that way too. But my goal is, is consistently at least two videos a week. Um, for whatever reason, I tend to do better with more frequent videos. I think it's because I think less about like what I'm filming and just focus on filming. And then I sort through the, um, the footage and just upload it. Because if I just do one or two videos a week, I start to overthink it. I'm like, man, it needs to be, I need to set up all these different shots and try and edit it and try and make it like creative and fancy. And I forget about the actual content and I focus more on the setup and then I get overwhelmed and then I don't do it. And so my goal is at least two videos a week. They can be vlogs, full day of eatings, car chats, workouts, um, you name it. I'm, I'm down to film it. Um, don't make it weird. <laughs> but if there's any video requests that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Um, I appreciate you sticking through the channel watching our videos, all of the encouragement and love and support that we get from all of you viewers. Um, I just love our little YouTube community and our little family and I don't, I don't want it to go anywhere because it's one of my passions. So that's it. I'm gonna go crush my leg workout. It's gonna be a good one. Like I can already feel it. Um, also, side note, my mom trimmed my hair this weekend and she did an amazing job. So that's it. <laughs> uh, hope you're having a good day. We'll see you in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And have fun out there. Bye.